This episode is brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com, where the best drinks begin. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create something I've never done before. This is the eggnog and brandy using the non-eggnog. So this is what I use, eggnog. It's all made. But this time, I'm using an egg. And uh, this recipe is from, um, let's see, Howard. Howard on Twitter had sent me this when I said, hey, anybody got a good eggnog recipe? I got a couple back. This one was the most simple. Common Man Cocktails, figured I'd give it a try. It's going to be two ounces of brandy. We're going to use a little vanilla extract, so some pure vanilla extract. Uh, we're going to use four ounces of milk, whole milk. I, I see light cream to whole milk to everything in between. So I'm using like low-fat milk, whatever I had. That's how I roll here. An egg. I'm going to crack it on the show. I'm not a cook. So this could be funny. I could need another blooper reel. And I've only got two eggs in the house, so this could be bad. So I'm going to start by doing the whole egg, and what I've seen done before, I'm going to try it to kind of get the little foam on there, is if you crack the egg, put the ingredients in, and um, we're just going to shake it without ice, and then I'll put ice on there and shake it to chill it. See if that makes any difference. I don't know. If you're a pro, maybe you could tell me. So my first goal is to crack the egg without any type of shell pieces, and then secondly, I find a place for it. Thirdly wash my hands off a little bit because I don't think that's healthy. Salmonella. Salmonella. And alcohol might kill it. Nobody's ever been given ever ever given me the the whole facts on that. If what I have heard is that alcohol is what you could use to kill it. So when you put alcohol in there, problem goes away. Um, I don't have alcohol on my hands. So if that does work, it's only good for the cocktail, not for all the things I'm touching, so oh well. If I'm not here next week, that's why. So we'll do our two ounces of brandy. I'm gonna do a dash of vanilla extract. I don't know if this has anything. No, it has nothing to throttle the, the control. That might be way too much. Whatever. And then we'll do four ounces of milk. One. Wait, that's not one, that's two. Two, four. Where's my top? Now let's just kind of shake it a little bit. I do not want this to spill. It's spilling. Maybe it's just actually water, I don't know. There, we'll do this. Now we'll do it for reals. Get that. Actually, it looks just like the fake eggnog. I don't know if it's really fake, per se. So it says it's nice and sealed. What do you think? Want to make a mess? Ready? <sighs> Got a little dizzy on that one. Held my breath the whole time. Ah, fear. <laughs> I don't really know. So there you go. Let's strain that sucker out. I'm not going to use ice because I never use ice in my eggnog. Like in the actual glass. You can. Doesn't look like eggnog? We'll just do a dash of nutmeg on there. Three dashes. Like, how do you make eggnog? Yeah, if alcohol supposedly kills the raw egg badness. Well, yeah, regular eggnog. Yeah. It's regular eggnog made by cooking eggs. It's probably raw. Smell well, smells like nutmeg. Tastes like brandy. But you know what? It's not as thick. It's more. It doesn't have the same consistency. That's because you use. But it's frothy. Milk. Yeah, if you would maybe use a thicker milk or a light cream, you might get the thickness. 
So either way, it's really the texture. I don't think it's gonna change the taste too much, maybe make a little extra dairy creamy taste. Pretty cool. But think about that, think maybe heavy. Might give you a better taste profile. So that is the eggnog and brandy. It tastes like a lighter version of eggnog. Personally for me, I kind of like that because I like the thickness of eggnog, but I only drink a little at a time because of the weight. I don't like to gain too much weight. Um, also check out our sponsor. They make these cool, well they'll make them, but they sell them. These uh, low ball glasses, which are good for drinks like this because sometimes you don't want too much of a good thing. They also have the Frosted Collins glasses, the non-Frosted Collins glasses, the Cheeky Godhead, dun dun dun. Um, and tons of other stuff. They also, now, during the holidays, they're doing a gift pack so you could buy like a box of, you know, if you are if you have a cocktail person in the family that maybe they're building their own home bar, uh, you know, something like that, you can buy them a box of four, like, of these guys, and that's their holiday packs. So you might want to consider that. They also have a lot of new stuff that I don't actually have on the show, so check them out at awesomedrinks.com or everydaydrinkers.tv slash awesome. I'm your host, Eric Shomo, for EverydayDrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink eggnog.